Now, Kamala's big pitch that's basically been monopolizing her messaging this week is that she's not Joe Biden. She was at major pains to differentiate herself from barely there. Joe, in a sit down with Steve Colbert, take a look. What would the major changes be and what would stay the same? Sure. Well, I mean, I'm obviously not Joe Biden. Um, I know. And so yes. that would be one change yes. in terms of. Yes. But also, it, I think it's important to say with, you know, 28 days to go, I'm not Donald Trump. Yeah, you know what? I'm not Joe Biden either, obviously, and I don't think people are buying this routine. And joining us now, though, to discuss it all is Newsweek Deputy Opinion Editor Bacha Ungar Sargent. Bacha, thank you so much for coming on the program. This Colbert interview, her modus operandi, is all about now saying, I'm not Biden, I'm relatable. But all of these words, salads, are hardly a convincing display, except for the fact that, well, she and Joe Biden both do word salads. But Meanwhile, she's also making a big show of sipping a can of Miller Genuine Draft <laughs> while millions of people are suffering. Uh, this seems, you tell me, a little bit out of touch. She sipped that beer like she's never had a beer in her entire life. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't she, believe she that, the by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the, the grimace on her face when she sort of, sort of tried to get it down and then say, you know tastes like champagne or something like that. It was just so funny. Um, you know, this was such a hilarious moment because her team is obviously trying so hard along with the liberal mainstream media to sell this. And there's always just this gap between who they're trying to tell you Kamala Harris is and who she actually is, you get the feeling that she's an actor, she's a performer, she's trying to perform this role of somebody running for president rather than actually running for president. Nobody believes that anything she's running on was her idea or her commitment. I mean, it's just, it's, 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 it's unbelievable, right? That she came up with whatever it is she says she's running on. But the real tell, James, is that all of the problems she's running on are fake and made up problems yeah. because all of the actual problems in the country are problems she made, right? So she can't run on inflation because she was part of the administration that caused it. She can't run on immigration because she was part of the administration that that caused it, right? She can't run on jobs because she was on the administration that opened the border and resulted in, you know, plummeting working class wages. So they have to make up a whole bunch of fake problems to run on so that mm -hmm. they have something they can look like they're solving. So they came up with, you know, Donald Trump, a threat to democracy, absolute nonsense, right? He's not the one trying to imprison his political opponent, right? They came up with a national abortion ban, which Donald Trump already promised he was going to veto. And then she talks a lot about the divisiveness that Donald Trump allegedly engendered, leaving out the fact that this is a man who has unified the American working class across racial barriers for the first time in, you know, decades and decades and decades, perhaps ever. So, well, you know, they, they made up all these problems because the real problems she caused. And so they, and, and, and again, you know, pe the people who have real problems, right, who really actually are suffering because of inflation, because of immigration, right, they are not looking for an actor. They're looking for a person who has ideas about how to help them and you know it's a really not Kamala Harris